Hey lovely dolls, so let's get into this makeover. Hey! Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> Hey my lovely dolls and welcome to another lovely makeover with me, my lovely. So for this look today, this makeover, I'm going to actually do her hair but I'm not showing that in this video today. I'm not showing that today. Um, but what she has is a sewing with the leave out so I'm just adjusting, I'm just hot combing her leave out and then I'm going to one curl her weave and get it all curled up and looking beautiful but as i said we're not looking at that today so we're getting in right into the makeup all right so this doll is actually gonna do her grad pics so we're gonna get her right with a lovely signature look and that consists of a soft glam with shimmer so it's gonna be very neutral very soft very beautiful still enhancing all her beauty yeah because we are her yes so for what i'm doing here is brushing her brows in place and then putting some brow glue into the brows to set them all in the right direction and here i'm applying ooh, good molecules Neuroceramide to the skin. As you know, skin prep is definitely a part of the Moya Lovely package. I do serums, moisturizer, and all that after cleansing your face with micellar water, that is. Um, so, yeah, that is the bottle there that I'm showing you guys. The Neuroceramide bottle it wasn't showing that well, but yeah. Um, so, that is that. And we're going to get into drying the face because between each product i ensure to dry the face down so everything can be settled so we don't have anything um mixing or having anything um not settling to the skin before the next thing so here i'm applying the long comb moisturizer and i'm emphasizing this or i'm making sure to put this under the eyes where it's the thinnest and driest area of everybody's eyes um to make sure that when we put on that concealer it's gonna stay put and look good so yeah that's the bottle um and i'm brushing it in with my mac brush foundation brush um so yeah Today's tutorial is gonna be quite detailed, so I'm gonna give you all the, de the the details that you need, the information about what I'm doing, and so forth. All right, so right here I am priming the face, and for the inner section of the face, I'm using the Becca primer, and the outside portion of the face that is less oily, I'm using the Elf um, Hydro Grip it's the milk hydro grip dupe and i'm doing this so it can help to adhere the foundation and those are the products and how they look the becca primer is very scarce because becca had gone out of business they had sold their however they have sold their um formulation to smashbox i believe so their mattifying primer is the same here i'm adding some powder to the brow that i applied the brow glue to to get them dried and ready for um the cream and powder products all right so you can see i'm pulling in filling in the brows lightly with a brush and it's that angled mac brush i don't remember the number and i'm just trying to get that nice smooth arch because she doesn't have a very 
um, angular arch and you can see the difference that it does when she turns forward and you can see that I really brought her brows in more so it frames the eyes a little bit more and I'm here I'm doing some hair like strokes because it's a very thin brows um, brow brush and getting it look so here you can see it I really brought the brows in and out to the end of her eyes it kind of frames her eyes a little bit more I'll forever love cleaning up the brow with concealer because one I use the concealer as base for the eyes and two it gives it a sharper look I don't care how much it goes out of style I'll always clean up underneath probably not the top as much as the bottom but definitely cleaning up the bottom of the brows so that's what I'm doing here and I'm gonna brush it onto the lids of the eyes and use it as quote unquote a primer for the eyes As always, I cannot with my clients and anybody who sits in my chair, they're like, do whatever. And I love that. I love when my clients actually do that. It gives me comfort that they believe in my skills and they are comfortable with what I'm, whatever I'm doing. So as I said, we're doing a lovely signature look. It's a soft glam with shimmer. So what I'm doing here is putting a neutral brown tone with a, it has a hint of red in it in her crease or what should be her crease. Um, she has very small eyes you can barely see them um, so I'm defining her eyes and here now I'm taking a larger brush and I'm putting a uh, could call it like an orangey brown to the outer portion of the eyes and this is where I'm bringing a little bit of color into the look and um, bringing some life to her eyes to draw the picture the camera to her eyes because hey the the eyes is the soul right the windows to the soul or the door to the soul whatever they say but yeah I'm gonna do that with this larger fluffy brush and then after that I'm taking my derma blend um, prim I call this my primer at this point it's a foundation sample that I use to prime the eyes and make it brighter for when I'm doing those shocking looks or lighter colors because um, as you know I use the concealer to do most of the priming but this is to really bring it forward and do the spotlight kind of thing or when I'm cutting the crease so I'm doing that and I'm putting it in the inner portion because we're gonna do a lighter color in that section and here I'm adding the a champagne champagne gold color to the middle um, right beside that orangey brown that we applied with the larger fluffy brush um, and that's gonna be like um, the main color I guess and then after that I'm gonna add a white to the inner portion the innermost portion of the eye And I'm bringing it in right to her brow bone to open up her eyes because as you can see she has very small set eyes so I'm brightening and bringing the, the eyes to her eyes you get it um, so yeah and remember with all this process what you guys don't see is that we reapply we blend we reapply so that's all a part of the process so I'm just blending in that crease color to make sure everything is blended because as I said it's a soft glam it's very blended and making sure everything meshes together and melts together and looks beautiful
A tip is to always have a clean, fluffy blending brush to go over all the shades and get everything nice and blended. Alright, so next I'm gonna be putting or I am putting a brown bone color, a brown color on the brow bone um, to kind of emphasize the brow bone and get it back popping here because we kind of blend up that crease color because our eyes are so small we we'll have to define all of these areas so that you can see the different areas and once again we're taking a fluffy brush and we're putting a darker brown now into that outer portion of the eyes because I didn't define the eyes yet and I'm creating an angle with this to kind of bring and elongate her eyes because as you can see her eyes are as I said small alright so this is the part that really got me shaken up like even I doubted this foundation as you can see and I'm having her reassure me by pulling down that that um you call it thing around her neck to make sure the foundation will match her chest and most of her body is lighter than her face like uber light as you can see so I'm definitely balancing it out so this is not a match to the face foundation it's a match to the body foundation routine um, so I'm definitely it's definitely a just the process kind of look with the foundation and even I almost give up on this foundation so we're gonna check it out so I'm using L'Oreal and a Maybelline foundation and I'm also going to go over it with a little bit of um, rose water here to make sure that I'm blending everything into her skin seamlessly and making sure everything is flawless. Alright, so here I'm taking the Black Opal Heavenly Honey foundation and going over the places where she has a little bit more texture. And I love doing this with Black Opal because it's a cream product and it will help to settle in for some of that and create a smoother texture to the face. Alright, so here I'm going around the face and defining the face more. I'd say more like bronzing, but contour bronzing um, with black opal again, but this is nutmeg. It's a darker, it's still a red tone, that's why I said bronzing. I'm not contouring, but it's defining the, the face a bit. So I applied it with the elf brush and an angled elf brush, and then I am going to be blending in blending it in with a sponge all right so for this foundation technique I'm doing cream products before I do powder not just powder and I'm using the Smashbox cream blush here to blush her cheeks and blend it into that bronzer it looks very bright at first but with this technique everything will be muted and and toned down after all the powders are added so here I'm using I think the yellow LA girl um, concealer with a little bit of white under eyes and that is gonna conceal her, her under eyes and brighten it as well Alright, so now I'm going to use the Dermal Blend Translucent Powder and this is a very finely milled powder and I like to use this under 
my lighter skin tone clients because it really settles well with their skin and because it's really blendable and it will definitely it goes invisible after a while um but yeah i'm using that under her eyes i'm gonna use my velvet sponge to blend this in i'm gonna pat 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 until it almost disappears well not disappears where you can't see the highlight but it doesn't look so stark white And here I'm doing a tip that I think her name is Joelle Phillips on TikTok definitely gave us makeup girlies and that is to always set your loose powders with a pressed powder under the eyes and I'm definitely loving that it definitely elevated the under eyes and here I'm making sure everything is blended because we're gonna go into powder now so for the bronzer I'm actually using a foundation powder by Milani and it's earth glow and I love using it because it's such a red red bronzy color and for the blush I don't remember what blush I use? I think it was by Jordan Ozo. No, it was one of my blush palettes um, that do have a name. Um, so yeah, that I used a pinky tone blush. And yes, it does look bright, but after you, you'll see how it's blended. All right, so here you can see I asked her to puff up her cheeks because she has deep set smile lines and I want to blend make sure the foundation is blended very well because I haven't put powder there yet and then I'm gonna do some translucent and pressed powder to press into that you see that press press into that so that it won't crease as much it won't stop it from creasing because it's a movable area but it will reduce the amount of creasing that it will, it will cause Alright, so here I'm going all over the face and blending everything in. So first I'm using a lighter tone, skin tone powder. And then I'm going to melt that in with the same rose water. And this is actually by Benjamin, so go check it out. Benjamin Rose Water Spray. And then I'm now moving on to the highlighter. Oh, it's going fast. All right, so we're moving to the under eyes because we are mostly finished with the face. I applied a jar on a stick pencil with a uh, what color would you call it? Like a rust orange tone, and then I'm gonna put all the colors that we put into the crease and under the eyes, and then we're gonna line our eyes with a brown liquid pencil. I chose brown because I didn't want to distract from the look or make her eyes close too much because as we have said over and over her eyes are very small so we want to make them look larger and i didn't want to put white because that's going to look weird when she takes the picture so we use softer colors all right so for her lips i'm using a jordana pencil in java bling and i'm lining her lips and then i'm using her lip stick um and i this is by belani i don't remember the name um and yeah so that's why you see i'm using it directly on her lips because it's her products she's going on with it she brought it all of that and then i'm using a clear lip gloss to go over this and this is the look beautiful isn't it hair and makeup by moya lovely do check me out on instagram you can book a session with me today.